Island state agencies work with the shellfish industry to ensure that shellfish are safe to eat by testing water, phytoplankton, and shellfish samples for bacteria and toxins. In 2016, a harmful algal bloom was detected in Narragansett Bay that closed much of the bay to shellfish harvesting. At the time, shellfish samples had to be sent to a laboratory in Maine, which took several days. After that bloom, Rhode Island increased its sampling efforts and testing capacity, and the Department of Health laboratory became one of the few laboratories in the country to receive FDA approval for testing for harmful algal blooms. Here at the Rhode Island Department of Health Laboratories, our role is for testing the water from all the harvesting areas each week to ensure the safety of public health and the quality of our shellfish in Rhode Island. DEM is part of a network of state agencies plus federal partners and partners in the shellfish industry who work together to safeguard and protect um, the shellfishing industry in Rhode Island. Our part is to make sure that the water quality in the areas of the state where shellfish are either harvested wild or grown in aquaculture meet health requirements. We're out in the field about 125 days a year collecting water samples from the shellfish growing areas. Once we collect them, they go up to the Department of Health in Providence where they get analyzed. The two main things we're monitoring are fecal coliforms and then harmful phytoplankton. So sampling for fecal coliform and harmful algae in the state shellfish growing waters is fairly straightforward. For the phytoplankton, we use a fine mesh net shown here. It's 20 micrometer mesh. We pour a known volume of water through it, concentrate it down to that and you see the modified piece of PVC pipe on the end. Pour that concentrated sample into a sample cup. It gets put on ice and sent up to the Department of Health for analysis. Here we're sampling for fecal coliform, which is very straightforward. Just dipping a 125 ml bottle into the water, scooping up a sample and bringing it up to the Department of Health. The improvements to Rhode Island's sampling and testing capacity mean that in the future, harvesters and dealers may not have to throw away perfectly safe shellfish just because it's reached the end of its shelf life before a water quality embargo is lifted. The product that we had purchased uh, embargoed in the cooler and then we eventually got the green light that we could sell it. We're dealing with live animals with very limited shelf lives. By the time the waters were reopened uh, and we were told we could sell the shellfish, it was at or near the end of its shelf life. Now the Rhode Island Department of Health Laboratories has the capability of providing testing within 24 hours of sampling and providing the results even the same day. This way we can reopen areas after the blooms subside within a matter of a couple of days, two or three days, rather than waiting a whole week. The Sentinel program that's established in Rhode Island has worked thoroughly. No one has gotten sick during a harmful algal bloom. The safeguards that we had put in place originally worked and since we've had some subsequent harmful algal blooms the safeguards have been enhanced and I would anticipate that the safety of shellfish consumers will continue at a very high level.